Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Football 2023 with the Boston College Eagles. This is, I don't know, episode, what, four, I think. Um, and we're through our first season and we're going to get into our first off season today. So I'll be interested to see. I've never done an off season, so we'll see what the off season brings. Guys, I would ask really quickly, leave the video a like, subscribe, leave a comment. It's just algorithm, gods, blah, 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 blah. Also join my Discord. I'll put in a link to my Discord below. Um, not a lot of people there right now. There's about 30 of us. Um, but uh, good group of guys and I gals, I suppose. I don't know how many. Uh, I don't know how many. Uh, I don't know what the, what the ratio is, but uh, I'm going to stop talking as I just get myself in deeper here. Let's get to some football. So it is uh, the end of the season. We are going to advance, and we are going to see what happens. So, yes, I want to complete end season. Transfer portal. Looks like it's thinking about it. All right. So, how do we... Do we have anybody leave? Yeah, three players I don't particularly... Oh, the linebacker, Fred Shirt freshman linebacker would kind of suck. How can I... Can we do it from recruiting? No, these are all still the old recruits, at least I think. Ah, here we go. These are all, I think these are, yeah, these are all transfers. So Al Halsley. Okay. So how do we... Uh, Fuchs. Yep. Off from a scholarship. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this is how this is supposed to work, but this is how we're gonna try it and see if we can make it work. Philip Rivera. Yep. Offer these guys scholarships. And Donald Little. I don't know if this is how we're supposed to do this, but this is how we're gonna do it. Um, all right, let's advance. I think. Yep, I think that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Um, so they, no, we're going to, okay, so these are all the teams that are offering us Jobs: Akron, Kent State, Rutgers, SMU, and Western Michigan. We're going to stay with Boston College. Staff offers. All right. Um, I don't. Uh, do we have to make any offers? We don't. We have a... We have a... Oh, I don't know. Gaffney... Okay, so the, all, all of us like the spread, so that's fine. I'm good with that. Um, our defense, a little bit skewed. We both like the three down linemen. They just go like going with five defensive backs where we go with the four linebackers. So I don't think we need to make any offers. Allocate percent of scouting. Shift money from the scouting department to the academics department. Guess that makes sense. You put some money into academics, right? I guess. All right. So did we lose anybody? We didn't. Staff signings. All 
So are we able to actually recruit players right now, or is this sort of like a down season? Yeah, we're not able to. See how all this works. A lot of staff. Oh, let's take a look and make sure that no one is recruited from our staff, I guess. That's probably important. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's advance. Wow. A lot of staff offers. Okay. Five weeks of... All right, so we're back into recruiting now. All right. So does this give us all of our money back? Actions. All right. Outreach. Put that there. Facility tour. Phone call there. If we can get Fuchs and Little as as uh, as transfers, I mean, I can't imagine they're going to sign with us, but we will see. Hail Mary. All right, let's go back in. Yeah, he now has 19 offers. Okay. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, let's go here. All right, this is the way I wanted to look at it. If Fuchs has 19 offers, we're not getting him. It's fine. Uh, let's dump all this money in here. Dump all this money in here. Let's do home visit, home visit, facility tour. Um, four-star tackle, four-star linebacker. I like that. So we got three scholarships out there. I don't know that we're going to land any of these players. But we'll see. They like our odds on getting Layman. Little's a Hail Mary. Rivera is a Hail Mary. Okay. So let's focus on Layman. Put all this money into Layman. See if we can get him. We can then pull scholarship, pull scholarship, pull scholarship. We have three scholarships remaining. So let's go to uncommitted. And let's look at maybe some players that don't have. Yeah, like Chris Red only has one offer. Lamont McMurray only has one offer. So let's. Problem is we don't have any money for recruiting. So I don't know if we're going to be able to. Oh, do we go Joseph Winners? Six foot, 184 pounds. Six one one ninety two. He's a redshirt sophomore, 83 overall. Winners in 84 overall. And then what else do I want to look at? I, I want to see if I can take recruiting back and, and actually start to recruit some of these guys. Uh, defensive tackles? Lundy? Sure. All right, so do we have any recruiting? Uh, all uncommitted is what I want. Uncommitted. Okay, so I can't spend any money on recruiting right now, which is weird. Um, yeah, it's just weird, but that's okay.
So Rivera and Lefebvre went other places. Significant competition for Lundy. Winters were good. We're not out of the running on red yet. So that's not bad. It's not terrible. Um, actions. Layman. Lundy. Winters. I think I want red Lundy and, 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 and Layman if I can do that. So let's do that. Let's do that. And we spent all of our scouting dollars. So is there anybody? Let's go back to uncommitted. Who are the best players to not have any offers? You got a four-star cornerback. Yep. I can't offer him a scholarship, though. So we'll start there and see how that works with our tour. Oh, well, wait. We have to. Let's go back to um, our targets. And we've got a three-star fullback. Yeah. Um, pass block. Yeah, I mean, do we really need a fullback? I don't think we do. I think we go into the cornerback world and offer him. All right, let's go ahead. It's signing day. It's signing day. It's big day, guys. Big day. Let's get through signing day and see how it goes. See if we get any of these transfers. We already have a top 10 recruiting class, so pretty excited about adding some uh, some transfers. Let's see what we get. their top recruit. Where did we finish? Does it tell us? It does not. Number 12. We finished with a number 12 recruiting class. Nice. So we picked up Lundy, Wilson, and Winters. We picked up a four-star defensive tackle, four-star cornerback, and a three-star wide receiver. I will take that. Nationally, our class is ranked as 12. Our board is delighted with the results. Uh, media is expecting us to finish 78th in the nation. We expect to finish at least 13th overall in our conference. Look at all those signees. Uh, our recruiters are all over the place to scoop up unsigned players to complete our roster. Okay, so we got a kicker and a punter. Fine. Awesome. So I guess let's look at the roster and see if there's any any changes we want to make. So Ned Hall was our uh, our big um, signing number nine. Uh, it was number 107 overall recruit, 73 speed, 88 arm, 80 accuracy. Yeah, Ned Hall's coming in as our. Uh, uh, really, our starting quarterback on day one, I think. Uh, Matthew McMahon, yep, we picked up a couple of good running backs. Um, William Leggett, let's just go position by position. So we've got four quarterbacks, uh, all relatively young. We have a junior red shirt, Stephen Brahman. But Ned Hall is going to be our number one. And yeah, Galarraza doesn't really have the speed, but he's intelligent. So Hall will be our starter, probably August, our backup. Running back situation looks pretty okay. Um, 
We have Matthew McMahon, who is a burner at 94 speed, uh, 84 overall. He'll get a chance to start. Same thing with James Free, a 88 speed there. So a couple of good running backs. Fullback, Dana Paris. We've got the one fullback. Our guard play, uh, Henry Peeler. And yeah, so a junior starter and then sophomore, sophomore, freshman. I like that. Tackle position is... Huge upgrades here as we go Tristan Blackman and Samuel Stevenson now as our starting tackles, both in the mid ninety mid 80s as freshmen. Uh, center situation looks okay. John Rupert is going to be our starter. Tight ends. Donald McGraw will likely be our starter. 63 hands, 74 speed. Yep, doesn't have great hands, but... Looks okay. 84 overall. Wide receivers. Uh, Ed McGrath, we bring him in as a uh, transfer. Uh, Jerome Thompson, a freshman, 88 overall. Love it. Joseph Winters, bring him in as a transfer as well. So our wide receiver core, pretty stacked. We've got four 80-plus receivers, including German Furman. Uh, we will likely end up redshirting at least one or two of these guys. Cornerback situation. Uh, looks okay. Arturo Wilson, sophomore, uh, red shirt, 85 overall, a couple of 81s in there. Linebacker core, Danny Marshan is our best freshman at 85. Yeah, and Cornelius Davis at 81. So our two best linebackers are both freshmen. Defensive tackle, William Lundy, freshman red shirt, is going to be a monster this year. Uh, Leroy Hayden we picked up, but since we're going to run a 3-4, Lundy is going to play uh, that that center role. And then our, our defensive ends are in good shape. Dennis Redding, John Flowers, uh, both there ready to go. Free safety, we're set. Ronald Sommer, freshman, looks like a beast. And strong safety, Lawrence Stone will get the start, but we have three solid players behind him. Tom Nelson will be our starting punter. And Clifford Cousins will be our starting kicker so things look pretty good um i don't think there's anybody that we want to change like positions on or anything um i like the big target of german firm at 64 209 89 hands 83 he's going to be really good in the red zone i think if we can if we can find a way to get him the ball let's go ahead and advance Training camp results. I want to look at the training camp results. Where can I find them? Are they... I didn't set this last time, and that was a mistake on my part. So um, I didn't set it this time either, so it's another mistake on my part. But I think... Yeah, Malcolm Robertson up to an 84 now. They liked what he did in uh, uh, in um, uh, training camp. Let's go ahead and save the league. What else we got? And a lot of improvements. But good to see. Good to see. So now we need to set our red shirts. Um, I think in order to do that, we need to see exactly how many players we have at each position. Current four, minimum three, so we can redshirt. We're going to have to redshirt a running back. Likely going to have to, I don't think we redshirt a quarterback. Maybe redshirt a wide receiver. We have to redshirt a center, a tackle. Okay, so... Running back, tackle, center, defensive end are a minimum. So running back, which running back is going to get red shirted here as, ooh. So the only two red shirts, the only two freshmen that we have are Free and McMahon. And I don't want to red shirt either of them because they're the two best running backs I have. Um... He's probably going to be star. We've got Newton, McMahon, and Free are our three big ones. So can we redshirt him? 
Well, redshirt Irving Powell. So it was running back. Tackle, center, and then like defensive end or something. So um, 86-81, we will redshirt Wilfred Richards. Center, Slagle, yep, it's fine. And then defensive end, I think. Yeah, we may have to actually cut these people now that I think about it. I don't really know. We may have to actually cut these players. Um, yeah, William Hammer's no good. We're just going to go ahead and release him. No, oh, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> he's gone. Um, six, eight. We Yeah, we may have to actually cut a player or two. I'm not sure exactly how it works. We'll see if the game lets me run with it. But we have a lot of wide receivers. Uh, Patrick Nagel, we can go ahead and release. We don't need him. John Lawson with the 95 hands. Wayne Job, I think we can red shirt. Anybody else that I want to redshirt? Really looking at the younger players. Sophomore Mark Robbins. What does the skill number do? Not sure what the skill number does, but those are some high numbers. All right, so I think we're set with the red shirts for now. All right, so we're into the regular season, so now it's time to kind of do the deed, right, and get our get our roster set up and get our depth charts set up and, and whatnot. So um, I think we start here, and we will... Yeah, I want Ned Hall starting. All right, so we got Hall with... I don't like the speed from either of these two guys. I think I want Branham as the backup because I like the speed. And then August will be the third string. So from a running back perspective... McBride, uh, I want McBride. No, I wanted McMahon because of the speed, right? Mc, Mc, McMahon and McBride are our two top running backs. Sean Newton is our third. I want McBride as our starting fullback. He only has a 63 strength. I don't like that. Pass blocking, run blocking. Let's look at the fullback position. 42 and 55 for Dana Paris. Once McBride's got a 42. I think I want, out of these guys, I think I want 40 and 27. Forty and twenty-seven. Newton seven. He's got he's the strongest. I think I put free there. I like his hands. His strength isn't great, but he's a better pass blocker, better run blocker. So we're going to do James Free here as our starting fullback. Wide receivers. I guess we're going guards first. Peeler and Perrin. Who does it want? Peeler and Perrin. Yeah, that's fine. 81, 81, 89. So where is a better run blocker, but that's fine. All right, so then tackle, it should be Blackman and Stevenson, right? No, okay, that's interesting. We're going to put Blackman there, put Stratton there. 85-76, oh, that's why, he's got a 90 run block. 
Um, but we're going to stick with Blackman and Stevenson. Stick with the, the freshman here. Center. It should be Rupert. Or, no, it's Faulkner. Okay. Rupert, 75 pass block. 84, 85, 76. Yeah, we'll stick with Faulkner. He's got the better strength. Tight ends. McGraw. Nope, who has it? It has Blake as our top tight end. 63 hands, 72 speed. McGraw, 63 hands, 74 speed. So we're going to go McGraw, Blake, and then Blake and Outlaws. Fine. Uh, and then wide receivers. Jerome Thompson, Ed McGrath, Joseph Winters. Uh, and then German Furman should be really the backup at all of those positions. Cool. Um, yeah, I think that works. Let's save. So this shows us who we have in these positions when we are in those in those roles. So that works. All right. So let's go to defense. Uh, defensive coordinator. All right. So let's start with cornerbacks. So Wilson, Etheridge, and Hutchison are our three highest rated. So it wants Hutchison. As our number one, 87 speed, 65 hands, 45. I'm actually okay with that. He's not the highest rated, but he's tackling is fine. He's the fastest. He has the best hands. Wilson is our number two. Uh, Etheridge should be our backup. And then Hood there. We go Hood there? Yeah, it's fine. Linebackers, Marshawn is our number one linebacker. He wants Lawrence Stone. So linebacker one's going to be Marshawn. Linebacker two is going to be Cornelius Davis. Adolfo Boyd, he's not very quick. He's agile, but he's not fast. That's weird. Adolfo Boyd will be our number three, and our number four will be Matthew Melendez. That's fine. And then we're not putting strong safeties in as the backups. That's silly. Um, so it'll be Robbins, Reynolds, Warsham, and Kurtz. All right. Uh, defensive tackles it should just be Lundy because we're just going one defensive tackle and then defensive ends. Redding and Flowers. Yep. Redding and Flowers with Jesus Williams as the backup. Three safeties. Ronald Sommer. Yep. And then strong safety tackle. It's got George Raymond. No, Lawrence Stone is going to be our starting strong safety. An 88 overall. Don't be silly. And then Malcolm Robertson can back up there as well. All right, so let's save. And then let's start taking a look at some of this other stuff. Uh, all right, game planning. So first and 10, the higher the number, more passing. So I do want to pass more, especially now that we've got a, uh, a pretty solid passing game, it looks like. Second and short. I'm fine running it on short. Fourth and long goal line. End of the, yep, I'm okay with that. That all looks fine. I'm not going to change much here. I'm not going to blitz much on second, third, and fourth, and long. Well, you know what? I 
I think I might actually. I, think I might actually. I want to blitz more. An error has occurred. Let's blitz more. Let's blitz more. Yep, that's fine. I like how we blitz 70% of the time on fourth and long. That's awesome. Uh, all right. Create new game plan attitude. We're going to go a little more conservative because we've got some younger players. We're going to go with a balanced set. We're going to stick with fast. Passing preference, medium. Passing target to the outsides. Primary receiver. Third down back is going to be McBride. Who has the best hands of our wide receivers? Let's Or of our running backs. Let's look at that. Uh, who has the best hands of our running backs? Free. Okay, so it is free. All right, that's fair. All right. The game knows what it's doing. The game knows what it's doing. Uh, free. Where is he? Running focus. I do want to run out of a... Th no, yeah, I do want to run out of a three-wide receiver set. Running back roll. Running. Tight end roll. Catching. QB tuck and run. Um, I think we can go often since we've got um, a quarterback who has some, uh, some speed and some agility. Uh, attitude. Balanced. I think we stick with a zone because we've got some really good strong safeties and free safeties, but our cornerbacks are kind of meh. Um, all right. Formations. So we have to go in and set offensive package too, or we can just change all these to 100. So if we look at the depth chart, what is... Offensive package to look like. Oh, it says copy from. There we go. Okay, that's what I want to do. Let's look at defense. Let's go to defense package two. Copy. All right. So that should set our preferences. Okay, play analysis. We don't have any, I'm not creating play calls. That's ridiculous. Um, training. Let's create a new schedule for the quarterbacks. And for the quarterbacks, we are going to remove some of the physical play. And game tape is intelligence, right? Where's Hall's intelligence? He's a 72. He's not a super bright kid. Uh, but I'm not concerned about his strength. Um, positional drills. No, let's take it out of here. Put it there and put it there. So we're going to go QB, 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 QB. I'm going to create a new schedule, and I'm going to do this for... I don't know if I'm going to do this for all of them. I don't know if I can be bothered, to be completely honest with you. Uh, we'll take some away from game tape and positional drills. And we're going to go into athletic training. And physical training. We'll see how these guys develop. And I might go back in and, and change it for everybody. Uh, you know what? Here, let's just do it. Because um, I think next episode will be week one, and I may let the game actually play week one. I haven't kind of gotten that far yet. Uh, game tape, physical training, uh, positional trills, and athletic training. Tight end, tight end, tight end. Tight end and tight end. Let's create a new schedule. Wide receiver. 
So for our wide receivers, positional drills, they will train the relevant skills for that position. Okay. So I'm assuming that's hands, which is important, obviously. Um, I think I take points away from game tape and put it into athletic training, positional drills. I don't care if my wide receivers aren't necessarily strong. Although I guess I probably should, right? Because I would imagine that, that their strength will affect jump balls and, and things of that nature. All right, we're going to stop there. Uh, I'll come back and I'll do the offensive and defensive lines here in a little bit. I just, no, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Let's just do it. This is going to be OL, DL. And they are going to, we're going to take a point away from game tape, take a point away from athletic training and put it into positional drills and physical training. And then the offensive and defensive line will be on the same schedule. I'm excited about actually getting a little bit more involved in the actual games this year, you know, because this is our team. You know, I'm kind of excited about about how, you know, we had what 25 new recruits or something like that. So excited to see how uh, a lot of our freshmen do. Got Ned Hall some weapons, which is huge. Something he had, something our quarterbacks didn't. I think he, we had one good wide receiver last year, so I think we're. In better shape there. All right, so we're almost done. We got to do wide receivers and then our or our linebackers and then our defensive our defensive backfield. So linebackers, we need game tape. So we're gonna go here and here, I guess. No, here. Yeah. So positional drills, which should impact tackling. And then we want our, our linebackers to be smart because they are in the middle of everything. And then between this episode and next, I'll kind of go through and figure out exactly what we need to do from a recruiting perspective. So let me go defensive backs. So we want our defensive backs to be fast. And positional drills. DB, DB, DB. Go down the list here. I was told not to ex exceed 20 uh, points in, in their training or they'll start to get injured and cranky and stuff. So I don't know if that's accurate. You can tell me if that's accurate. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but that's the reason I'm doing it like that. All right. So how long has this video been going on? For 38 minutes. So I think it is time to... We'll take a look at the league media and stuff. But I think we are going to... And you know what? Here, I wanted to... I should have done this. Uh, head close... Uh, offensive... I am going to put my attention on... Wish this was in some sort of order. So I can find Ned Hall. Uh, offensive uh, coach player option is going to go with... Not McBride, the other one. McMahon. Right there. And the defensive player focus is going to be our new linebacker. Once I can find him. Marshawn. All right. So let's save again, and then we'll take a look at like the the league notes and and all that, or the 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 the, the all the league media stuff, and then we'll call it an episode. All right, so we are not ranked. Um, 
let's see, news, magazines, uh, college football preview guide. Um, we don't have anybody here, I don't think. Yeah, these are all five-star guys. Top 100 players, awards, nothing eligible yet. Training, this is what I wanted to see. So Malcolm Robertson gained 17 points. Gomez, 8. Galarraza, 6. Cool. So we got some pretty big bulk uh, uh, improvements. So we lost a point of prestige, so that's not good. We need to improve that. Um, top 10 recruits were top. Yeah, none of this has changed yet because the season just started. So I think we can start recruiting. I'm not going to. We're going to wait until next episode. Um, we're going to wait until next episode and um, uh, start digging in. And we're going to, you know, I, I don't know that we're go going to be diving in to five star, you know, top, you know, 100 recruits, but I'm going to spend a lot of time this year kind of looking at those top 200, 300 recruits and see how many of them we can land right off the bat and, and see if we can make a huge impact in that this year. I think that's the plan. So that's what we're going to start with next week. Our first game is against Rutgers and I will probably play the game. I don't know. I'll probably play the game. Um, and, and see how it goes. Uh, I like playing some of these games. I don't like playing many of them, but I feel like we have enough new faces on our team that that could be fun. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Uh, do you want to see me play the games or do you just want me to sim through them? I mean, ultimately I'll do what you guys want. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching guys. I appreciate your support again. Drop the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying the let's play, leave a comment and join my discord and I'll leave that description in the box below. Thanks. Talk to everybody soon, guys.